Hi guys, Michael here from Tactical South. So straight into it tonight, as I promised everybody, and we've been waiting this one for a couple of weeks, the Surefire M951 Tactical Light, and uh, I guess in why I think this is probably the the best mounting torch out there. Now pull the seat up for this one, and we'll get straight into it. So here we go, two Surefire M951 Tactical Lights. Mounting lights, weapon lights, however you want to call it. But we'll just stick with the tactical lights here. Um, we're going to do a bit of history on it. Um, I'm going to give you some dates. Can't quote me on the dates. These are all estimate dates. Uh, I've got to do a rebuild for a client over here. So I've got a third torch over here already pulled a bit. And we'll just talk about really compare, comparing them to other torches way back in the day. So we'll get straight into it. So look, um, these come out in probably three models. There's three generations of these. You've got the Gen 1, which could probably come out about the mid-90s. Um, I haven't got one of those after one, but I just can't get my hands on one at this stage. Uh, and then about, oh, I think in about um, late 90s, uh, 2000, came the um, Gen 2 model, uh, which has a nice big body and all that. More or less the same as the Gen 1, um, but just a different tail cappy on the end of it, which you can replace. And then, um, I don't know when the Gen 3 came out, but I can tell you that was discontinued in around about 2010-2012. And there it is. This is the last model. And um, from what I can gather, it's the, yeah, the bead knees. And it's a, it's a great torch. So these were discontinued, like I said, 2010-2012. Which coincides roughly in when the LED craze started and all these torches got chucked out the window more or less overnight. So we'll jump back to 1995-ish, and so these guys were on the market. So, so those who don't know, this is a Surefire 6P, and also for you guys who don't know, who will bag me on this, but um, who actually don't even know, Surefire is actually a US torch company. Um, I know you've got a lot of other ultra fires, um, blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of them out there who've got the fire on the end. They're all um, Chinese copies of them, uh, so... Um, so if you see a surefire, nine times out of ten it'll be the legit. But some of the earlier models are being copied. Um, these are getting copied now. Uh, so just make sure you got the the surefire actually on there and and spend some time and research and look. Uh, but if it's coming from China, obviously it's a it's a it's a copy. It's not that hard to work that one out. So anyway, these guys were on the scene in the uh, mid 90s, and um, their biggest competitor at the time was Maglite. And Maglite were had those big batteries, big torches running the D-size batteries. Uh, so and they were popping out a massive uh, 27 looms. So back in an earlier life when I was a security guard, we used to run around with the mag lights. Um, and then along came these, and just changed it completely because what happened was that you went from 27 looms carrying this great big torch, and you jumped up to 65 looms, which I know you sit here now and you all laugh at me, but in the day, that was a massive change. Um, you went 65 looms, smaller torch, and life became a lot easier. Um, so what changed it, and what changed everything, was these little guys, which is the Surefire P60 bulbs. Uh, so, uh, but these were pretty fragile. You drop your torch, you normally had to replace these bulbs. They had a lifespan of about 50 hours, and you can get about an hour out of these on a um, on the CR123s which were in the time was also hugely expensive so you normally carried one of these and the uh, mag light as well and only use this when you really had to um, because the wages on a security guard back then and probably still are now were pretty pathetic and you really couldn't do much on that wage or buy many toys and then you come along to 2012 2000 yeah, 2012 ish and along came the LEDs they went out the window and these flash ones came in like there's your peacekeeper torch there also surefire and other bits and pieces because these were made and i have to say by the millions uh, these are all like government issue contracts us uh, marines army you name it they all had them there's heaps of these lying around that somebody decided to do a um, led drop in and this is what we have here um, we uh, run the sport tech ones um, uh, this these would have to be the only two items that we source from China uh, sport tech is a US made company but everything is made in China uh, it's just the way it is I guess these days you can't get it all your own way but 
we've had tried other ones we've tried some rubbish ones and this is where we've gone to with these nice and simple and it's putting out a great big uh, like in this one here if you're running 18650 um, you're getting just about 1500 looms of it um, but um, yeah that's just the way it is and it's just the way times have changed I guess everything is like that so let's break it down quickly get into it um, the Surefire M951 has four main components you have the XN tail cap which is sitting there in frame and then we go into the uh, MH90 body issue 60 issue LU60 collar and the M2 bezel and that's it that's your main components of the torch nothing hard in it pretty simple and just just put it together quick screw in there that's your body and tail in goes your collar and look at that look at the size actually look at the size of those o-rings in there um, you wouldn't get any other torches with running massive o-rings like that in there um, yeah that's just a simple fact there because those o-rings are not well they're probably an extra five cents but um, we can't go spending them and then we have it on with the M2 collar um, bezel sorry and then you have it up and running that's your torch that's a 20 year old torch um, with the old P60 bulb in there running 65 looms and we grab our LED and open her up and you have a great big probably on CR123s I think it's 1100 and something looms running on that and it has some good range so for those who have used the P60 it's exactly the same just give that spring a bit of a pull drop it in there let's just do him up There you have it, LED. It's as simple as that. There's nothing tricky in it. Um, but here's the other good thing in this. There's two good points about this. The good one is um, you can use rechargeables now. Um, the old ones you couldn't use rechargeables. They would just um, rechargeable just blow the bulbs. And hopefully we're not going to go on. Yep. So there you have it. Hopefully. Yep. We're running. So that's great. Um, so there you have it one flash new 20 year old torch brought up to 2020 outperforming the scouts surefire scouts stream lights all them um, battle proven combat proven one other point I didn't point out what, what are these holes on the bottom I'm going to go ask um, these are for putting your mounts on so you have the M48 screw on thumb mount here which would go on there and you mount it to wherever you wanted to and screw it on there um, like so or that's what these surefire bits on the bottom here these mounty bits here that's in there um, that's what the holes are for you screw them in there and um, makes a big difference for replacing them or when you don't need them in the broad daylight and arms also do one too and the arms are my favorite um, because they're just soldier proof and they are just absolutely bulletproof uh, one other point on these is just to finish it off very quickly is that um, sure, this is putting out, these are putting out 1500 looms. Um, well, this one is anyway 1200 looms, sorry. Um, just be aware of what you want to use your torch for. Uh, we use us for pest control. We need looms, long range, checking livestock on the homestead, that kind of stuff. We want long range. Uh, if you're busting into a room and you chuck on 1200, 1500 looms, you're just going to blind yourself, and which makes it pretty pointless. Um, but here, this is what I'll show you. So this is this one here. I've got the old bulb in this one. So if I pop this over my shoulder, that's 65 looms. And so I put my I put my new one on, and there you have it. There we go, 1200. I mean, I don't know if you can even see that on the camera, can you? But anyway, that's that's the difference in them, and that's that's makes that's why you've gone and upgraded to that. And that's why I'm using this little guy, my 6P, uh, 20 year old plus torch, LED drop in there. And it's more powerful than the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper over the shoulder there, that's 600. And like I said, there's 12. So um, that's why I use this, my everyday carry. So guys, that's what we're about. That's what we have. Um, like I said, these are getting hard to get. LEDs we still have for you guys running around with your P60s. Six, your 6Ps, short for 6Ps. And I'm um, looking for an upgrade or a replace. Um, we've got the LEDs, we've got the rechargeables, and everything, like I've said to you before. Everything you see here is what we use. 
Uh, we're just not here selling you stuff which uh, looks cool. We actually use the stuff ourselves, and that's probably a big point from us compared to other people is that you see the stuff here, it's because we use it. We don't um, pretend to have it and pretend to use it. We do use it, uh, and um, we do play with these toys as much as you probably would. So, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. I've waffled enough, I think, and I think we'll just uh, stop it there. So if you like what you see, please, it would be great if you just give us a thumbs up, tag us along, and we'll um, so you get your notices when these videos. We're looking at every couple of weeks at the moment um, to get a video up, and so that's what our target is. But if you like it, thumbs up, and um, so hopefully we will then catch you on the next one. So we'll catch you then. Thanks.